The Eastern Corridor Road has become famous not only for its near and more trouble nature, but also for the many demonstrations witnessed over the past few years over failed promises to fix it. Apart from the Asikuma to Peki stretch of the road, which is in a fairly good state, the rest of the Eastern Corridor Road could best be described as Anmotrabu. With the resumption of work by a construction firm, Rolida, on the Hohoi to Jasikan stretch, drivers along the stretch told us they were happy with the resumption of work as they were spending less time traveling the route. The resident engineer, Paul Botte-Botte, from the Ghana Highway Authority, in charge of the Jasikan Hohoi stretch, told us work was progressing despite insufficient payment from government at the time of our first visit to the road. This is... Oho Jessica Road Project being undertaken by Rolida. The, it is 30 kilometers and work is progressing. Now the contractor has moved to site and is working. So far, five, two kilometers of the primer seal have been sealed. It's been resealed and then first seal and then the other sections which are normal trouble <clears throat> we've made 15 kilometers out of the 25 kilometers more trouble contractor has been paid some amount which is not substantial but he's still on site and working so if money is made available the contractor will continue working the Volta Regional Director for the Ghana Highway Authority told us the nature of work being done was one of good quality and assured us the road will be giving a surface dress. If done sub base up to a stage, we expect them to do the base and then uh, finally seal. Where they've sealed already, they are now doing uh, the second seal. The, 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 the first seal. The, the primer seal and they are doing the first seal. So the road will be asphalted when it's completed? No. The surface dress. Yes, surface dress. The project manager Anthony Lanson acknowledged that the lack of a consistent flow of funds had been the major challenge they faced. He, however, assured us that with consistent funding, Rolida will work to complete the road by December 15, 2020. Yes, uh, this has been the major problem flow of funds. If we have the funds coming, the job will flow. Actually, I have to point this out that the vice president did a lot of work to get us back on site working. He had to uh, get a committee to bring everybody together to find out why the Eastern Corridor Road was not moving. And he was instrumental in letting us get some funds to pay for our uh, debts for uh, diesel and this that was outstanding, even the rent for this place to pay us so that we can come back and work. On our second visit to the road today, however, the story had changed. No contractors were seen on site and two accidents had already occurred with deaths recorded. The drivers could not hide their frustrations. You, you drive along the stretch every day? Please, yes. Tell me what, what, what challenge you have on the road now. Oh, now the, the road is very bad. As you can see, the dust. So if it's like a well, car is coming like this, another one is coming, you cannot see the other cars. So that is the problem we are facing because the road is not good at all. Even we are having accident on the road, even the reacts you can see our left-hand side. There's one car over there having accident over the one. Even the one person died within the accident. Yeah. When did the contractors leave site? We, the other time you came, we saw them on site grading the, the roads nicely. What happened? Uh, we don't know. They just take their instrument and everything away. They say they are not paying them again, so they cannot do anything about the road again. So they left. They, they said they were not paying them? They are not paying them. That is what they, we hear about they, they, them. Yes. If a car should even pass now, we can have to hold this interview for it to pass before we can even move on. It is not that the contractors are working. They are actually not working. They came to create a death trap. My brother, as you can see, there has just been an accident you, you witnessed, and there was loss of life. The day before today, yesterday, there was an accident just about two kilometers from here. So we are pleading with the government to come back and inspect why they say contractors are on the road. They are really not on the road. Nothing is going on. What is happening here is that every blessed day, there is an accident, and there are loss of life. They can come back and check.
But but not long ago. I mean, we saw that they were on this, especially this stretch of the road, trying to fix the the major holes that were created in the, on the road. When did they leave? They they actually came to fill the major holes and then graded the road from Jasika, okay, from Bori to Santro Kofi. That is what they did. And that is what is causing the accidents. Because there are no rains and the road is very dusty. You can see. If a car should pass, you cannot even see the next car coming or whatever. And that has caused the accident. And that is what is letting people die. So what they did was a death trap. How often do you get onto the main road? Oh, actually, it's, I, may, I may say every day. Every day? Uh, because I'm an Okada rider. Okada rider. Yeah. How do you go through the dust as an Okada rider? Oh, the dust actually from uh, Jessica to Hohoi right now. I have to wash down my body before getting to the town, which mm. is very bad. And because of that, I have to speed up and then no car should meet me on the way so that I'll not be dirty. Mm. Yeah. The road is very bad. We have this dust. Because of dust, we can drive comfortably. And passengers are complaining all the time. And if cars see that you are coming, they'll be speeding up. If you don't take care, you'll get accident. Yeah. So we please the government to come and help us to quota the road for us. Be frank with you. I would say now it's better. But before the Christmas time, it's not easy at all. Even the, everybody have diverted the road to pass through Ayoma uh, uh, side. Till uh, two months to the time, then uh, some people came. The whole contractors come back to the road that they are coming to do the work. We thought uh, we are in harmony. But what we have done is that just a small thing they have done. Since then, too, so many accidents because of the ramps and uh, the dust. I, I left about uh, three weeks now to Accra. When I come back, the same thing. Before I met you people on the way now. So to be frank with you, let's uh, uh, f uh, let the government know something about what is going on. If not so, we are going to lose our life or I'm still at Jais mm. Their plea? Obvious. They want government to expedite work on the road. Their fear is that the rainy season will be worse if the road is left in its current condition. Young boys on other parts of the stretch have begun filling up potholes for a living. Why did you come to fill the road? Okay, as for we here, the road is not good, all right. But there's nothing to do apart from doing this for our daily bread. Yeah. Oh, so you do it for daily bread as well? Yeah, yeah. So on the average, how much do you earn from this? Okay, it depends. Mm. Not all the time we get mm. the normal as we get, but sometimes. So on the day you earn high, how much? Okay, sometimes all of us, we could make sometimes 90 cities, 100 cities, 120, 140. Mm. Yeah. So, so on a day that you don't make at all, how much do you make? Okay, sometimes we could even make 30 cities, 36 cities, 33 cities. Yeah. How often do you do this? Oh, yeah, I would say it has kept. Mm. Yeah, and almost every week we come. Mm. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 23. So is the hope of the people who live along, I mean, within Hokwe and along the stretch between Hokwe and Jastikai, that this road will be completed in December 2020, as has been promised them. They are pleading with government to make sure the contractors come back to site to curb the challenge with the dust, and which they foresee that will become a more a major challenge when it starts raining. Reporting for certain news, I'm Benjamin Aklama.